just about eight miles inland from the warm waters of the Atlantic. We are inside Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. About ready to get this one started. Amy Fairbairn ready to kick it off. And off we go from South Florida. Good return as he takes it across the 30. So they come to the line for first down and 10. The NFL's leader in rushing touchdowns last year, Raheem Mostert. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. That's a gain of 19 and a very quick first down. When we met with these coaches during the week, Mike, they told us the emphasis this week about getting the run game going early. And we see it here. Nice first play pickup. Fresh set of downs. Hill brought in motion. Here comes the jet sweep. He's going nowhere. Going to lose yardage on that play. Here's a second and 12. Tua gives it to Mostert. And some good blocking, springing up. A gain of nine as we get to third down. In motion comes Beckham. Tua now on third down. He'll try and get there on the ground. Really nice job here, not only avoiding the rush on third down, but quickly finding that crease, get downfield, and he's able to pick up the first down. Hill brought in motion. Play action. Tugo Valoa. He'll take a shot here for the end zone. That is caught. What a throw. Jalen Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. They find the end zone here on the opening drive, and Greg, they're able to do it in the air. Mike, it makes you wonder, is this drive a sign of things to come? I mean, this secondary, they had their hands full there. Are we going to see it repeated throughout the rest of this game, or are they going to have some answers on defense? After the touchdown, Myers is back to boot this one away. This will be returned from the six. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. Complete to Jordan. Give him 14 on that play. One play, one first down. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. Man acquired by trade in the offseason, it's Joe Mixon. And he'll get this one across midfield. Brought down after a pickup of a half dozen. They'll work now on second and four. Stroud to throw. Trying the right side. Taken in by Collins. 
And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Stroud connects with Collins, and it's a first down for Houston. Well, there's fast starts, Mike, and then there's this. It just seems like it's completion after completion, and now they find themselves in plus territory. Every team has their fringe red zone down to their red zone plan, and once you cross midfield, you got to be thinking six at the worst three, but you're coming away with points. Throwing on second down, Stroud. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. So after one, it's the Dolphins with the early lead. And we're back to South Florida after this. They'll go play action with Stroud. That's caught. It's Joe Mixon. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hand, and results in a completion. They'll run out of the gun with Mixon. That was some good downhill running to get him about six yards and set up a much more manageable third down. Man in motion is Brown. They'll try and run for this with Mixon. And the Texans have a first and goal forthcoming. He takes this down to the five-yard line. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge game. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. They'll run here with Mixon. And he will fight his way to the end zone. Joe Mixon. Touchdown, Texans. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finished it off on the ground for the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close, only to settle for a field goal. But in this case, give them a lot of credit. They put a great drive together, but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six. Each team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 as they kick it off. To return it, here's Raheem Mostert. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Dolphins offense going to take over now for the second time. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with first and 10. A shotgun snap for Tua. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes and... That ball falls incomplete. And he will not be able to get free, picking up only a yard. Now, it's third down. Shot, 
in motion comes Beckham. Throwing on third down, Tungo Bailoa. He's going to air this one out, looking for Hill. Nothing scarier for a quarterback, Mike, than to seeing that ball popped up in the air. It, it feels like that ball is in the air for an eternity, and all you hope is that it just harmlessly falls to the ground, and fortunately for the offense, that's exactly what it did. So that brings up fourth down. The veteran Jake Bailey called on to punt as he's on here to punt this one away. Here's King to return. Oh, hello. He is stopped in his tracks on that one. They made sure that return was not going any farther. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. From the gun, here's Stroud. That one incomplete. They can hook up there. And that incompletion takes us to the two-minute warning. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a gotta-have-it best play call. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. Zone route running, Mike, is very simple, right? I mean, everyone wants to complicate offensive football and make it super technical. Once you come off the line of scrimmage after the ball is snapped and you know it's zone coverage, as long as it's sort of in the area the quarterback expects you to be, my rule was just run where they're not. And when he throws it, catch it. They'll come up here on second down and five. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. Pressure gets there, and down he goes. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. From the gun here on third down, it's Stroud. That'll be taken in by Mixon. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. The Texans set to punt this one away. Out to return for the Dolphins, it's Braxton Berrios. And that one not placed as well as he had hoped. It's all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins offense going to get it one last time here late in the opening half. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Out of the gun, Tungo Veloa. Catch made there by Waddle. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. And this time, they'll just keep it on the ground. He's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So, one touchdown apiece for our two teams. 7-7 on the board here at the break. As we head north to Orlando, we're going to join the coach, Jonathan Coachman. He's got our EA Sports halftime report. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. 
The Texans offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. Low scoring game, all tied. Third quarter, and a touchdown here could go a long way. See if they can get it on this drive. First and ten. They'll begin on the ground, and here's Mixon. And they'll bring him down around the 27 yard line. Play is made on defense by Jordan Brooks. Second and seven. Here's Stroud. Open man, that's Collins. And he's going to get this to the 37 yard line. Stroud connects with Collins, and it's a first down for Houston. You can see this connection is just starting really to pick up. They're seeing the game through the same set of eyes, and that is the job of the receiver. What is my quarterback expecting from me? Where does he want me? Be there on time, and it leads to big games like this. They will work the middle with Mixon. Look at him stay on his feet as he's able to shimmy his way for a gain of about five. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You gotta have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. On second down, Stroud. A short throw pulled in by Schultz. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Just take what the defense is giving you. When you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath hitch routes, quick game, now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. That's over the middle and caught by Collins. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. That's two catches on this drive. This one for 10 yards and a first down. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. He'll let this go deep for Diggs. And he'll take it on in. Touchdown, Houston. Fairbear to add the extra point. He's got it. And the Texans will move out to a 14-7 lead. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it off. Mostert now to return. Oh, he's got room past the 30. The Dolphins offense ready for their first possession of this second half. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. In motion, it's Waddle. On play action, it's Tungvaloa. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Jalen Waddle, the intended target, and it'll bring up second down. So often we see when those balls get deflected up into the air, they usually turn into interceptions. I think the offense dodged a bullet here, and they're fortunate there was nobody in the area to come down with that pick. Here's two and out on second down. That's to his new acquisition in 2024, Odell Beckham Jr. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. First time they've looked his way all game long. But he comes through with the grab and a first down.
They'll motion the tight end, Smith. A run here with Mostert. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. They'll motion the tight end, Smith. Here's Tunga Vailoa. Out wide, here's Smith. And he has got this one all the way down to the two-yard line. A big play and a much-needed one as well to gain a 43 yards. Well, I'm not sure there's been one position on offense that has evolved more over the years, Mike, than the tight end position. They're no longer just the extra blockers. They're no longer just the underneath, hey, pick up a first down. These are some of the most dynamic playmakers. Oh, making defenders look silly out there on his way into the end zone. Raheem Mostert, touchdown Dolphins taking care of business on the ground to get the score and Greg the big guys up front they deserve some praise on that one absolutely Mike and it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block but in this case give credit to the entire unit they did their job and they reward their offense with a touchdown So back to level after the touchdown in time for the kickoff. From the six, here comes a return. Now on the return, he has lost the football. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. A run the toss to Mostert. And he's going to be brought down here on what will turn out to be the final play of the third quarter so both teams trade touchdowns in that frame as we get through the end of the third quarter you're watching the nfl on ea sports here's second and nine they'll motion the tight end smith He'll get that into the hands of Tyree Kill. And he will get into the end zone. Tyree Kill. Touchdown, Miami. Greg, every touchdown counts the same, but the ones you get in the fourth quarter, they are the ones that feel a little more important. Yeah, now that pressure shifts to your defense, your offense was able to go out and get the lead here late. Does your defense have enough left in them to get one more stop? So the lead is seven now here in this fourth quarter. The tie has been broken. Let's see what happens on this kickoff. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Texans offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. They'll begin with first and ten. to throw. Stroud. He'll get this over the middle to Diggs. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid. You can take some chances. You can push the ball downfield but not only to pick up a couple yards. You got to pick your chances of when you want to be aggressive and you got to make sure you make better decisions going forward. 
And they'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. Throwing is Stroud. He'll go right back to Diggs. He's got it again. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. Off the play fake. Here's Stroud. They're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. It's a big play when they needed it the most. And even 30 yards. They'll come up here first and 10. Now, Stroud. Inside the 10, it is caught. And he'll be taken down. 17 yards on the gain, and now they've got first and goal. Mike, you've heard me say it a thousand times. The easiest down to throw the ball in the NFL is first down. I hate when teams wait till later in the possession to throw the ball. So early first down completion, you're on the plus side of the field. Now you're thinking strike. Touchdown, field goal. But either way, I'm coming away with points. Nico Collins was the intended receiver there. And it'll be second and goal. You have to come down with those opportunities. You're not going to get your hands on the ball very often as a defensive player. And when you do, let alone in the end zone, those are plays you just have to make. A uh, second down throw for Stroud. And that is caught in the end zone. He's in. Nico Collins. Touchdown, Texans. A huge touchdown there in the fourth quarter, and now just a point away from tying the game. And that's one of those drives, Mike, where you know your best is needed. Can you come through here late and give your team a chance? They're an extra point away from tying this thing up, and we got ourselves a ball game. in store in the remaining time. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Out comes Miami and the offense to get started on their next drive. This one tight throughout, all level at 21, as they'll search for a go-ahead score. They'll come up for first and 10. A handoff here to start the drive, but this will end up being a reverse. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. They'll drop to throw. That's complete. He's got OBJ. And he's going to be taken down. And that will take us to the two-minute warning. Here's a big one. This third down. From the gun, here's Tua. He gets that to his tight end, Smith. A gain of 16 yards. Good for a Dolphins first down. 
This is what every offense looks to do, Mike. They want to attack the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. And oftentimes, that's where the chunk plays come. Give it to your receiver on the move and let them do the rest. And he's caught left side by Waddle. Tua to throw again. He's going to let it fly downfield for Beckham. And he's going to go all the way. Oh, that's some late magic. They've taken the lead here in the final minute of play. A beautiful combination in the air there. The pass downfield and bringing it the rest of the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And it's really just a great route, Mike, and then a beautiful throw. The accuracy of the throw is what allowed the receiver not only to secure the catch, but then be able to turn it up and finish the play and find himself in the end zone. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Now return coming from the seven. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Houston offense going to make their way back onto the field. They'll start it here with a first and ten. the gun. Here's Stroud. And the rush gets there. Down he goes. At this point in the game, you find yourself trailing. There's only so many possessions left here in regulation. Now after that first down sack, this is on the verge of being another wasted possession, and they're getting pretty close here to desperation time. Now on second and long. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. To the left side, and caught by Schultz. The crowd cranking it up another notch before third and long. They go with Mixon. The Tech Tim's going to go ahead and use their first time out here. The clock will stop with an even 20 seconds to go. Interesting call for the defense. Pressure or sit back on fourth and five. Here's Stroud. This is caught. He got the connection to Collins. Here's a timeout, Houston. That's their second. As they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. This offense still has the one timeout to use. First and ten coming up now. Stroud. Now he'll tuck it and run. He'll step up and run this. Texans going to use the last of their timeouts here. Texans offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They'll begin with terrific starting field position. It gets going with first and ten. Here comes second down. Here's Stroud. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. 
defense is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think like they know this offense has to be one dimensional this has to be a pass so what do they do they bring in extra defensive backs they clog up the back end and at the end of the day there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball he'll let this go deep for the end zone and that is incomplete they took the end zone shot of the final play it's a heartbreaking finish and this one will come to an end so fins up it's a win for the dolphins they use a little home cooking here they play a complete football game and they send their fans home quite happy so that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Dolphins, home winners here as we say farewell from South Florida.